the James Webb Telescope has given us. The clearest look at Proxima b ever, shedding some light on what could be a potentially livable exoplanet as we explore space we're trying to figure out what makes Proxima b tick and whether it could be another Earth this planet hangs out in the habitable zone of its star. Proxima Centauri, which is just 4.2 light. Years away, it's not just a random rock. It might have oceans and life on its surface, but there's more Proxima Centauri. B isn't alone. There's also Proxima Centauri C and who knows what else might be out there in its star system Proxima Centauri puts out about the same energy as our sun does. For Earth that makes you wonder if there could be water and maybe even life on Proxima B as we look beyond our solar system we find a whole new universe filled with exoplanets with around 200 billion stars. Out there the potential for discovering new planets is huge. Some of them known as rogue planets float free in space unbound to any star. Proxima B is pretty unique. It has a short year of just 112 Earth days and it's closer to its star than Earth is to. The sun meaning one side is always sunny, while the other is in darkness. Let's talk about Proxima Centauri, the star that B orbits its part of a trio called Alpha Centauri, which includes Alpha, Centauri A and B together they make up. The closest star system to us Proxima is a red dwarf and the faintest of the three discovered back in 1951, but it's still a star worth studying since red. Dwarfs can shine for trillions of years. That said, the habitability of a red dwarf is still up for debate Proxima. Centauri often flares up and its habitable zone is much closer than the sun's which presents its own challenges. Proxima B can take a beating from intense UV radiation which is tougher than what we deal with from our sun this. Radiation can strip away gases from the planet's atmosphere making life there. Tricky just being in the right zone doesn't mean a planet can support life if it doesn't have a stable atmosphere to keep things comfortable even though Proxima B looks somewhat like Earth it's not clear if it can actually support life the mission to learn more about Proxima B continues and astronomers are excited about the James Webb telescope launched in late 2018 it's designed to spot infrared light and this allows us to look for signs of water or atmosphere on planets like Proxima B, but even if we find an atmosphere, it doesn't automatically mean life. Exists some atmospheres like Venus can be way too harsh for life. The challenges ahead are real and with costs rising. Scientists are working hard to find new ways to study planets like Proxima B. This quest to uncover what lies beyond Earth is exciting Proxima B being our Closest exoplanet is particularly intriguing because it's near Earth's size and is in the habitable zone so it could potentially have conditions for life since it's so close Proxima B is a good candidate for interstellar missions. Though actually getting there is another story it would take a spacecraft like Voyager 2 around 75,000 years to reach the Proxima system but there's an idea where solar sails, super thin sails that catch sunlight for propulsion could help us get there faster. The James Webb telescope can even detect emissions from Proxima B if they're bright enough, which opens up some cool possibilities about what that planet might be like as we keep exploring. We're discovering a wide variety of exoplanets from gas giants to Earth-like worlds. There's a lot to learn Proxima. Centauri B is particularly interesting. It's called a super Earth because it weighs seven times as much as Earth, but it's too close to its star to be sure it's in the habitable zone. There's still much to discover in the Proxima system and new clues keep popping up. For instance, astronomers have found hints that there might be another planet possibly named Proxima Centauri D. The universe is full of surprises and with each discovery, we're piecing together a bigger picture. 
of what's out there exoplanets can be, tough to spot because they often hide behind the glare of their stars but, thanks to new tech we can now get direct images of some of them for a planet to be imaged it has to be big enough to see and far enough from its star to not get lost in the light. Various methods like the Kepler space, telescope's transit method have helped us gather valuable information about these distant worlds there are. Interesting facts about exoplanets like how many stars have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones, although we still have a lot to learn the James Webb Space Telescope is helping us along the way revealing exciting new details about the universe and catching stunning images recently it found carbon dioxide on a planet outside our solar system, which is a big deal for understanding how these worlds form and the potential for life the work being done is thrilling and opens doors to even more discoveries ahead the James Webb telescope gave us the clearest look at Proxima B ever and it's pretty amazing. Turns out this exoplanet might actually be livable so let's check out Proxima B2. See if it could be Earth's successor. There's a mysterious planet chilling in the livable area of its star Proxima. Centauri only 4.2 light years away could it be another Earth with oceans and life. But wait Proxima Centauri B isn't alone. It hangs out with Proxima Centauri C and who knows what else is in that system. Maybe there's another planet we haven't spotted yet. Here's the scoop Proxima. Centauri gives off about the same amount of energy as the sun does to Earth could. There be water and maybe even life when we look past our solar system we find a whole bunch of exoplanets planets around other stars with 200 billion stars there are endless possibilities some exoplanets even float around without a star to call home proxima centauri b is special a year there is only 112 earth days and it's way closer to its star than earth is to the sun one side is always sunny and the other is always dark let's talk about Proxima Centauri the star Proxima b orbits its part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system along with Alpha Centauri a and b these are the closest stars to us Alpha Centauri a and b form a pair both are G and K type stars which look like one star in the Curus constellation they're the third brightest stars we see Proxima Centauri also called Alpha Centauri c is a red dwarf kind of star that's about 0.2 light years from the other two stars, usually four times the Earth's sun. Distance it is the closest star to us. Proxima actually means closest in Latin. A Scottish guy Robert Dorburn saw it in 1951. You can't see it without a telescope because it's dim but don't let that fool you Proxima Centauri is still worth checking out red dwarfs are super energy efficient they don't make a ton of energy but they last for trillions of years Proxima Centauri will be a regular star for another four trillion years now it's debatable if a red dwarf star can actually support life for starters it's a flare star that spits out a bunch of explosions its livable zone would be way closer than the sun's maybe somewhere around 0.23 to 54 cents Proxima B gets hit with way more ultraviolet rays than we get from the sun this is so intense that it strips away light stuff like hydrogen plus nitrogen and oxygen the problem is that it's not as inhabitable as it seems just because a planet is at the right distance doesn't mean life can live their Proxima B might not have a stable atmosphere which is super important for keeping the temperature steady and water around without it anything living there would be exposed to harsh space conditions making it nearly impossible to survive so Proxima B might look Earth-like but it's not quite ready for life scientists are being careful because a lot of things make it not so friendly the mission to figure out Proxima B is ongoing and some folks are still optimistic 
the James Webb Telescope is helping. Greatly after waiting years it finally launched and it will help us figure out if there's life on Proxima B things are complex several adjustments were needed to ensure the James Webb Telescope delivers accurate images as Abby Tabor A. Physicist at Harvard said, if a planet like Proxima B can soak up light from its star it can also send it out as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope is designed to spot infrared light it can grab pictures of this light from the planet and look for clues that say there's water or an atmosphere but what if the air isn't breathable so even if there's an atmosphere it doesn't mean there's life says Ed Turner an astrophysicist at Princeton Proxima B could be like Venus with a super thick atmosphere and crazy temps that would stop anything from living there it's not going to be easy to solve the riddle of Proxima B the James Webb Telescope sounds the real story but we still need to consider some potential setbacks there's a lot writing on this but so is the reward checking out a far away planet that might be able to support life is worth going after if the exoplanet were fit to live on could we visit one day it's the closest exoplanet so it's interesting practically going to our next door neighbor it's about the same size as earth and where it is suggests it could have conditions for life too because it's close proxima b makes a good pick for discovering life beyond earth thinking about exploring this earth-like exoplanet is already something although we can't go just yet as tech gets better it's a cool goal in space it wouldn't be easy though voyager Two would take 75,000 years to get to the Proxima Centauri system. One idea is solar. Sails these thin sails could push a spacecraft to Alpha Centauri using sunlight to stay on track plus check out. This could give us insight into whether other planets are habitable like anything ambitious. There are limits just having an atmosphere doesn't mean there's actually life Proxima B could be like Venus with a thick hot unloving atmosphere the James Webb Telescope can spot emissions if it reaches 5% of the daytime's brightness that may not seem like much but it's kind of a big number relative to our sun it's possible Proxima B has civilizations that are highly technologically advanced that may use bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the daytime side to the Nighttime side there are a bunch of planets out there all different shapes and sizes some are gas giants and some are more like Earth what do we know about them gas giants are similar to Jupiter and Saturn but way bigger some called super Jupiters are huge and then there are hot Jupiters gas giants super close to their star where it's scorching hot besides gas giants there are Neptunian exoplanets which are about the same size as Uranus and Neptune some are hot Neptunes and smaller Neptunes which are closer to their stars it's tricky to get a good look at their atmospheres and don't forget the Earth-like exoplanets which look like our own planet they range in size some smaller some twice the size super Earths are heavier than Earth but lighter than Neptune Proxima Centauri B is a catchy recently planet that orbits the star of the same name and classified as a super Earth although it is close to its host star it is still unpossible Proxima Centauri C looks much farther from the star last not least it looks bright what's even more about Proxima Centauri this world system each planet is has the own unique Characteristics it's a time to be space. Senses still challenge for some of the planets the star's gravitational pole can cause its host star to do a dimming last. Here's some fact that you would love to discover and now asterisk about 22% of stars have the equal as size to the sun. Asterisk Trappist 1 is one of planet is super rocky asterisk planets that are like our soul can have naturals such as Moon's NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured breathtaking images of the planets in infrared.